Is your game lagging, stuttering, or dropping frames on Windows 10 or 11? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fully optimize your system for gaming in 2025 to boost FPS, fix stutters, and get the smoothest gameplay possible. So let's get started. Step 1. Optimize Windows for best performance. To make sure your Windows computer is working as fast as possible, you need to turn off extra visual effects that use up system resources. First, go to the Windows search bar at the bottom left of your screen and type in Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Then click on it to open the Performance Options window. Inside the window, select Adjust for Best Performance to turn off all the extra animations and visual effects that can slow down your system. But to keep important visuals that make your system look good, make sure you check the two boxes for smooth edges of screen fonts so that text is easy to read, and show thumbnails instead of icons, so you can see file previews instead of just icons. After doing that, click Apply. Now go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This helps Windows give more power to programs and games you are using instead of background apps. Once you are done, click OK to save everything. These changes will help your system run smoother and faster, make your programs open quicker, and improve your game performance. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your computer's CPU has many cores, but sometimes some of them are parked, which means they are turned off to save power. This can make your system slower, especially when gaming or doing heavy work. To fix this, you can use a tool called Unpark CPU. When the program opens, it will show you which CPU cores are parked and which are active. To activate all the cores, click on the Unpark button. This will make all the CPU cores work, giving your computer more power and making it faster and more responsive. Step 3. Improve CPU performance with Throttle Stop. To get even more performance from your CPU, you can use a tool called Throttle Stop. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. This tool helps your CPU work at full speed. When the program opens, you will see different power modes such as performance mode, game mode, internet mode, and battery mode. Choose the game power plan and then check the box for high performance, which gives the best settings for gaming. Do not change anything in clock mode, set multiplier, or speed shift settings. Just check the box for disable turbo, which helps keep your performance stable. After setting everything, click turn on and then click save. Keep throttle stop running in the background while gaming so that your CPU always performs at its best. Step 4. Optimizing Windows with Ultimate Windows Tweaker You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. You can improve your system even more by using a tool called Ultimate Windows Tweaker. This tool lets you adjust many Windows settings easily. Open the tool and go to the Performance tab. There, apply all the recommended settings, such as turning off programs that automatically start when your computer turns on, turning on automatic restart after errors, and turning off things like smooth scrolling and page preloading. These changes reduce how much memory and CPU your system uses, which makes it faster. You can also turn off services you don't need, such as tablet input service, if you don't use a touchscreen, Windows Security Center service, if you use another antivirus, and prefetch service, which stores files that may slow down your system. Turning off prefetch service is helpful because it removes temporary files that can slow things down. After that, go to the additional section and choose network tweaks. Turn on onboard network adapter processor to make your internet faster. Also, limit anonymous network connections for better safety and turn off unneeded network features like recent shares and default admin disk driver share server. You can also hide your computer from network discovery to reduce background processes. After making all these changes, click apply tweaks and then restart your computer to make all settings take effect. Your system will now be faster, smoother, and more efficient. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. 
it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region, select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimizing System Memory Using ISLC Program You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now you will make your RAM memory work better using a tool called ISLC, which stands for Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. First, open the ISLC program and look at the top to see your total memory. Then set the list size to half of your total memory. For example, if it says 32,000 mem as in mem type 16,000. If it says 16,000 mem, type 8,000. Then check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized and launch ISLC on user logon. On the right side of the program, turn on enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. You can keep the polling rate at 1000. If your system is very slow, change it to 1000. Once you've set everything, click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. This clears unused memory and makes your system more responsive. Step 6. Disabling startup applications for faster boot and smoother performance. In this last step, you will turn off programs that automatically start when your computer turns on. This helps Windows start faster and gives your system more power to use for other things. First, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager. Then click on the Startup tab. Here you will see a list of programs that start automatically when Windows loads. Right-click on the programs you don't need and select Disable. This reduces background activity, speeds up boot time, and makes your system more efficient. Turning off startup apps is one of the easiest and most effective ways to improve your computer's performance. If this guide helped you, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more gaming and PC optimization videos. I'll see you in the next one.